Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. And your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here with me, and you were on the Jamaican Deb Debs train last night, manners and respect. We rolled on the train live last night. All of you all who are not subscribed to the Jamaican Deb Debs, which is my second channel, what are you waiting for? As so we said on the train last night, grant and fit me, grant and fit me, grant and fit me. Grant. As so we are rolling y'all train it up. Thank you all so much for those of you who were over there. I mean, no, most of you that were over there, who not come from over here, so. Join the family. Those of you who are not over there, join the family. Now today for you, I am gonna be sharing a Jamaican Kalalo and a saltfish fritters recipe. Repeat, repeating myself. Jamaican Kalalo and saltfish fritters. No. You can't substitute the color of some spinach or probably some colored greens. But not really familiar with the colored greens. Because I saw it, I think I saw it in the market here in Jamaica um, a few weeks back. And I asked the lady if it was imported. She said, no, it's local. So it looked like them stand planted up. But we have a lot of spinach here. You can substitute the color for spinach or whatever greens of your choice. Because some people might want to say the color is hard to get. Or if you're using that you can use a tin color though. Honestly, I have never used it. Mr. People want the tin and get it out. I am not sure if they then put it in there by the stock. If they put it in there by the stock, you you might want to have to chop it. Okay, because the one in the tin is cooked or pre-cooked or something. But I would suggest you rinse that one from the tin with a little warm water to get half them what metallic taste they okay pack in night tin. You don't know some of them in other tin till long till um you know they have a long shelf life. So I would suggest you just use a little hot water and rinse that off that metallic taste from the tin. Okay? So now right here I have some pre-cooked color. You want to get your color all fine like this and you want to make sure you cook it in a way that when you look the stock is, you know, it's almost cooked. You don't want it too, too, too tough, too chewy. You know, it's halfway cooked or three quarters. So you want to have it. You just want to, I steamed mine with just a little, little, little chops of water and a little grated garlic. Try not to put any salt because you're going to incorporate it with the saltfish. So, you know, want to do too much of the salt thing from, you know, the beginning. Okay? You want to have your flour right inside your pot here. And let me tell you something, family. This is not something that anybody can spoil. The worst cook not supposed to spoil this. Because you're supposed to have some extra flour on hand. In case you see it, I go to water it, you just put a little more flour. If it's too, too thick or too stiff, you had a little more water. The worst cook cannot spoil this. Okay, you're supposed to get this. So you want to have your flour. I'll leave for you in the description and the proportion. We are going to proceed to start doing it as our regular saltfish fritters. You need to have your saltfish. Don't boil the saltfish for the fritters. Pre-soak the saltfish. Clean off those little scales, that the dark part, blacky part at the back that's a scale. When I use the saltfish with them. Debone your saltfish thoroughly. Take, take some time to debone the saltfish, okay? And you want to have it in. You know, you don't want to mince it up too much, you know? Pieces like these are okay. So we're going to put in. And family, we know the saltfish kind of expensive in a Jamaica. Yeah? But put, you know, a reasonable amount of saltfish so you can get the taste. Because look, you're on a beer food fritters we do here. When things bad and we have the beer food fritters, we do it. Now, we want to get in some scallions. So we're using the green part and the white part. So therefore, you know, I have to use no onion. I've never used onion in my um, in my fritters. I use the green part and the white part of the skeleton. But if you want to go ahead and add some chopped onions, feel free, okay? You want to have some scotch bonnet pepper. This, it, it's, I, it's not optional in the fritters. But if you can't manage to eat, you just follow. Don't use a lot. It gives the, the fritters a nice flavor. 
So we want to put in reasonable amount of scallion. Because you know me always tell you about the green part of the scallion. Now, please do not leave out a reasonable amount of this, which is tomatoes. Ripe ones with all the seeds them and everybody. Chop. This is not fine chop. This is like rough chop. Why we not leave it out, Debbie? The tomatoes family. In the fritters, it doesn't matter what kind of fritters. Be a food fritters, fritters with bhutan. Let me tell you something. The, 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 the tomatoes, when the fritters are properly fried, and when you bite into one of those fritters, that, that gominate, that glamminess from the, the cooked tomatoes, when you eat, take it with a nice sweet little pectin taste within the fritters, and a piece of salt fish. Tell me about it. If you have, if you have fritters, Gaia, talk to me about it in the comment section. Now we have that. We are going to start incorporating. Because this is the, the basic, original, old-time selfish fritters. I'm so we're going to fix it up. Go to my channel. My, I think it's my second video. But I'm going to leave in the description for you. That's the basic, old-time, original, authentic Jamaican selfish fritters. We're not putting up more in there. So this is what I have here. So let's proceed. So you want to coat up your, you know? We're supposed to have some water. So let me go get my cup. May I go get a cake of water? So you want to start coating. Coat up your stuff. We're going to go finish coating. Get some water and return to you. Now that you have all coated, your salt fish and all the little stuff them with the flour. That will end this little process, coating them, will enable you if there is an, an you know, some little get to a bone out of the salt fish because you try to deep bone it, but a salt fish and you have a bone, you know. If there are any extra bones, you will see it popping out in the flour. You will see the sharpness and you will look and if it's a bone, you'll know if it's just an end part from the salt fish. Look at what I'm telling you. Look at this. If, you, if there is a bone, anything pointing out, it will enable, look, let us look at this, if it's a bone. It's not, but it will enable you to see if there is any additional bone. It will pop up when the flower take coat that bone, it will just stand up so. Make sense? Comment. Now, you're not to make no well in the middle, now, no. you just throw a little water, okay, and you start to mix it up. And I hope you are in on this one. We never care how much minute this video you want to take. But this is how I want you to look at what I'm doing. Okay? You make sure the amount that you throw, make sure it is properly. Look at this. This is a bone. You see what I'm telling you? The flower coated, you will identify any bone in it before you finish. Are you ready to start frying? Okay. So you make sure that water that you threw was all it is all you know make sure it get incorporated you want it you see the quite pretty you're gonna throw a little more we not cut nothing we not edit nothing at all you know because we want to make the fritters you know i want the fritters to be properly properly done inside your kitchen when you make fritters for your family okay look at this we're still not there yet. Look at the prettiness. Okay. Now, when you do that, right here, this is where you want to put in your little black pepper. Black pepper, I think that's fritters, you know. Okay? So you want to put a little black pepper. Put to your liking. All right. Because the fritters must taste of the black pepper and the country pepper. So you mix up now. Now, this now, with a little more water added, and if you need a little salt, will be the, or, would be the original Jamaican salt fish fritters recipe. This would be it. But you ever put the kalaloo in there? We now put no more water. Now, I've got my kalaloo here, and I have got a little carrot just for presentation. Because the kalaloo, it no looks so right around so you know, feed color and go so good around so. So what I going to do now, you know, I'm going to mix up um, my carrot, my, don't, this is like freshly shredded carrot. It's just shredded. Because you know carrot is sitting, but we just eat raw. So I'm going to incorporate the shredded carrot in this color look and come back. What a difference a little color makes. We're not going to be using all of this. If you was using more of this potato, I dump all of it. 
So we are going to be putting like about, I'll tell you how much. You know, we might want a little more, we might not. So I'm going to leave it at that point for now. Remember, you want to incorporate this at this point, and I don't think we'd want any more. Because this color low and carrot, it has a little moist, and this is so pretty in there. So let us do this. Right here I have some garlic, which I'm going to be gratering. It's optional, but I think it would be good because of the color low. Because I like, I like a lot of garlic in my color low. Because garlic enhances the flavor of the color low. That is for me. I don't know about you all, family. So look here now. Ready, we're ready. And we're going to start incorporating. Right here, I've got a beaten egg. One egg that has been beaten. And I'm going to be putting it all in there. Let's continue to incorporate as we go along. You want to be like folding now and cutting. Try to fold. Let's go finish fold and cutting this egg. When we return, we'll see what is happening. Now this is what we have family. Look at the consistency. We don't want any more liquid. We don't want it no more watery. Because the color look has some moisture. We never steam it, dry out and bark it out like a floor mat. You know the whole first time straw mat? I never steam it out so dry and barky. And the shredded carrot add a little moisture. So what you want to do now, you want to taste for salt perfection. Okay? So if it is that it is, if it needs a little salt, then you can put it. So you want to tip, you know? I could take a little bit more, just a little bit more. But still, the salt, them have to have, the fritters must have, a little salty taste not salt for butter your pressure and sitting you know but it must have it enough for too fresh for me so you can start giving it a few slaps remember you need one of these spoons you see you need one of these spoons and right on over here jesse will be presiding we're gonna go now finish beating this out leave it to rest for five minutes make everybody come together and gel Whilst we pre-eat Jesse, when you see us in the next, next clip, Jesse will be firing, Hi will be eating. We are going to fry fritters. Soon come. Okay, now, it has been rested and everybody come together. This is the melonis of the, of the butter. The consistency, loose, yet it holds loosely. When you look at this, look at, look at it on the spoon. But when you do like this, okay? So the head with the flour is there. We had it our little extra salt and everybody ready. We don't have any thermometer over here, medium to high, eat not too high. So we are going to test the waters yes, so with the oil. No, we're going to test the oil. Yeah, you don't want the oil too hot, family, from the beginning. And when you look, the fritters then start to fry and a bun up on the outside and inside of the fritters don't fry, okay? Now, do not drop the fritters too thick. Look at me. Let them spread out. You don't want them too, too thick because they're not going to fry on the inside. Okay? You can drop them in smaller um, sizes depending on, you know. Do not drop them big and high because these have been eggs. These ones have been eggs. So they are going to become fluffy. Okay? When you drop them in the oil, this is how the oil must sound because it's heated on the medium. Them drop and each and pan one another and loving because a sofritas stays a loving set of little people in. Don't matter when they are properly fried, they will loose from each other. Right there and make sure the fritters them flat out. We are gonna leave it to fry and it must not be fully deep fat. This is not deep fat and it must not be shallow fat, it must be in between. Frying on the medium, and when we come back, we are gonna show you how to look when you're returning. We soon come. Pay attention, okay? Okay, now family, we are gonna be turning not all but some. Look at this. So you gently, gently turn that one. Now what I want to say to you is this: you need to fry the fritters on the medium. Preferably, because remember, say some raw flour you're putting on something in the family. 
you have got to let them cook on the medium until they become crisp. Therefore, you are comfortable that these fritters get enough cooking in the aisle for the raw flour to come out, come bind up your back back. You get what I'm saying? You don't want you getting bind up all in your intestine there and then you have what well, something in your bind up, you're constipated. You must cook them properly. Now, all of these fritters will not be can't when they never can turn at one time because some parts of the pot the temperature higher than some. You get me? So look here. We are gonna be frying them all from one side to another with this color we want. We don't want them burn up and on the outside and then inside not cook. So when we return, you will go fry up all of this because I know how we die here they have to eat and a lot of you all have got out there to feed. So I'm, you, you do them in batches, so we're gonna be frying these. You don't need to change the oil, and when we return, you'll see all of them properly fried up. We'll present to you, and I'm gonna show you when you're done, fry the fritters them. Oh, the oil for look, the oil not for black, black and full of bun bun. We soon come. Okay, now family, this is our first batch out. You see the color look green and nice. You see the, you see the tomato, and you can see the little carrot and all of that. Okay, now you want to slap them on a wire rack to cool and also to drip the little excess grease. Okay, don't use the antovil, all right? Because these are some nice crunchy little snacks and little appetizer sitting. If you don't have in a denture, if if it are, if, if you have in denture, you're not supposed to have no problem. When you bite and go down in a this with this crunch, and you go down, and if you have your teeth in, your regular teeth in, and if you don't have in, not teeth, you're good to go right on over here. I told you when I return, everything would be ready. But when I see the need to return, when I'm doing a video, y'all, you know I will return. Now we're going to be putting in our second batch. You want your aisle for look clean. In case any little residue or any little thing leave back from the first batch, or, you know, you don't want to put this in there because it's going to burn and then it's going to start make sure the other rest of fritters then burn. We're going to finish. I want to now go back again till the fritters are ready. I swear this time. Okay, y'all? Okay, now this is our batch of fritters. But I want to show you something before I present. This is our pot that we had used to fry all of those batches of fritters. This is what the pot looks like after I will, I'm finished. Okay? Now, let me present to you. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach, it is Jamaican Kalalu and Saltfish fritters. Please too enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to like the videos remember to subscribe to the channel when you do subscribe just cuss up on the bell the little bell so just cuss up bam and smack it that will enable you to know when another video is uploaded from the jamaican cooking journey okay and when you leave your comments in the comment section as soon as you smack you get the video you watch it and you say what you want to say about the video you know, might necessarily agree with me as for me doing it. But if you want to say something, you say it in a principled and decent way. They're not like them, they not look good and, but say it principled, okay? Say what you want to say. That is how you will become a member of the post notification shout out crew. Now, today's post notification shout out goes to Joshua Gabriel. Lord God. Joshua, let me see how you did it. All who miss Joshua in the comment section, make we say welcome back. Welcome back, Joshua. Lad, me couldn't tell you last missing out here, Joshua. But we love you. You know we not that show it. Welcome back, my brother. Thank you so much. Joshua, me hope you like them flitters here. Now, these are for you all. Look here, we make sure we make enough in the car. Oh no, I get enough for me, you know. But I don't want nobody dead for hungry. We make sure we make enough for feed, you know. We no more share. Pinch on little crumbs, on little crumbs. That's how families roll. A little crumbs here, a little crumbs put on a little piece, make everybody get a little taste more. Shoot them up, camera gun. Shoot them up. Shoot them up. Now, right on over here, this is for Mama Debbie Owen. This is the Bragadap. This is the flour flour. You remember when we used to go to school and taking it down memory lane and those people that would sell at the school gate they would bake pudding tota ah, if you ever get piece of tota we do all one of them here you see you would never buy no more clothes you remember these big fritters we call them flour flour so this is one of me flour flour i want to open it out i want to show you inside here you see it 
You see what we have in there? I want a piece with a tomato. I want, pe want a piece with a tomato for sure. No. Eh, aye. Yeah, if you make it cool, you know, maybe I have to go over and make it cool and come back. Because let me tell you, if you don't make it cool with the tomato in it and it burn you, you whistle like peanut cat. You remember them old peanut cat there, Parry? Family? Look at the tomato in it. This is what I want to show you. Look at the tomato. It hot ya? Yeah, if you make it cool. Now, I, on our live last night, we um, introduced our sister here. And I did not remember to say, family, Margaret is a Jamaican. She is a Jamaican by birth, living in Canada. So she has published her first little book. And, you know, she's on the journey here with us. So I'm just asking for some patronage. We are going to leave the cost of the book and the cost that we are going to leave in the description of this video. You go check it out. And when you, you know, just get on to me, all my contacts will be there. And then you will move on to Margaret. Just get on to me. You come through me. Then you will get on to Margaret. If it's that you would like to purchase, please support. Our battery were exhausted here, so we'd have to change. So, family, I will say, go support our, si our sister Margaret Smith. We would be so grateful and thank you. She would be. Okay, so we're going to leave the cost. And that cost that we're going to leave, it includes shipping, everything. And that's the price right across the board. If you live at Timbuktu and a day to come, that's the cost. And if you live right next door to Margaret, that's still the cost. Okay? So, make me taste it. Look here. Hey, my girl want to say, Mommy, where is the garnish? Of course we have garnish here. Look at our garnish. What better color garnish would we need? Petite. Mm-hmm. Come here, soldier, for hot, yeah? Let's step out. Mm-hmm. Water for me, because I'm in the tropics. A cup of tea for you, because the snow is going on bad. These are so beautiful. Here, look one. Mm -mm. Once more, from my kitchen to yours, please do enjoy. Debbie from Dunga Yard, bless, no stress.